Hello everyone. In this class, I will discuss the experimental verification of Thevenin's theorem. In the previous class, I have discussed what is Thevenin's theorem and how can we calculate the Thevenin's resistance, Thevenin's voltage, and also current in any circuit components. Okay, but today I also We'll discuss how can we calculate the Thevenin's resistance, Thevenin's voltage experimentally. Okay, so let's see the circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram, and in this circuit diagram, I will apply the Thevenin's theorem at that point, A B point. And uh, what is the difference between the uh, analytic and analytical determination and experimental determination process? Here we have taken. A variable load resistance, okay, and for different value of R L, we have to record the voltage across R L, and for which have we have taken a voltmeter. With changing the value of R L, we will record the voltage across the R L, okay, and according to the Thevenin's theorem. Uh, we can draw the simplified circuit of this, and this is the simplified circuit of this circuit by applying Thevenin's theorem at the point A and B. Okay. This is Thevenin's voltage source V T, and this is the Thevenin's resistance. And according to the theorem, Thevenin's voltage source and Thevenin's resistance are connected in a series, and this is the low resistance and This is the voltmeter VL uh, by which we can measure the value of current. Uh, sorry, the voltage across the RL. Okay. If we apply the Kevin law in the loop, in the loop, in the loop, the current is IL. So, what will be the Kevin equation? According to the Kevin law, we know that the total voltage drop in a closed loop is always zero. So here the voltage is Vt. So Vt can be written as Thevenin's resistance Rt IL plus Rt sorry RL into And we already have discussed in the previous class what is Vt and what is uh, Thevenin's resistance Rt. Okay, so this is the Kevin equation from this loop, or IL equal to minus RL IL by Rt plus Vt by Rt. Okay. Here, let's see the equation. V T. This is the V T, and it is defined on the value of V two point this resistance. The value of the V T does not depend on the R L. Actually, this is the variable resistance. V T does not depend on the variable resistance. So V T is constant, and also R T is constant. R T is also does not depend on the value. Here only is R R L is variable. All other components constant so vt by rt is a constant rt is constant okay rl rl il is the voltage drop across rl and the voltage across rl is measured by voltmeter so this can be written as minus vl by rt plus vt by rt okay so This equation is an equation of the straight line because here I L and V L is variable and this is constant. So this can compare with the equation Y is equal to M X plus C. This is the equation of the straight line. And if we compare, then we get the slope of the straight line. What will be the slope? Slope and slope is M equal to minus one by R T. One by R T. R T is the Thevenin's resistance. The, that means the uh, slope of the uh, inverse of the slope line is equal to the 
Thevenin is resistance. So if we uh, if we can calculate the value of the slope of the straight line, then we can calculate the Thevenin is resistance. Okay. Now I will record the voltage across the RL by VL with different value of RL. Let's see the uh, data recording table. This is RL. RL is taken uh, here in ohm order and IL in milliampere and volt with, uh, voltage across the RL in volt unit. Okay. For RL is equal to 500, if we apply RL is equal to 500 ohm, then the voltage across 3.14. Okay. Uh, directly, we can measure the value of the current through RL by if we uh, connect a millimeter here, then we directly uh, measure the value of the current through RL and also we can measure since the voltage uh, drop across RL is VL and from Ohm's law we know I is equal to V by R. Okay. So the voltage across the resistance and also we know the value of the resistance then we can easily calculate the value of the current passing through the resistance and also we can directly measure by a connect emitter. So for 5 ohm resistance the current through the load resistance is 6.28 milliampere and the corresponding voltage is 3.14 and similarly for RL equal to 1000 when RL is equal to 1000 uh, for greater value of RL, obviously current will be smaller. So here current is smaller and voltage is increased. With increasing the voltage, sorry, increasing the value of the load resistance, the voltage drop across RL also will be increased. Okay. So for 1000, 3.97, the voltage across the RL is 3.97 volt. For 100, sorry, 1500 ohm. One, uh, 1500 1500 ohm resistance the load current is 2.98 and the voltage across the load resistance VL is 4.48 and 2000 2.28 milliampere the load current and the load voltage is 4.56 and so on so uh, we can record the voltage across the RL for any value of RL okay and if we plot uh, VL versus IL using this data then have this is the voltage sorry uh, I will draw the uh, load current versus for different value of the load current what will be the load voltage so VL okay so when IL so when IL equal to high then VL is equal to smaller that means when IL is equal to high then 3.14 for uh, 3.97 so this is the graph between IL versus VL. So this is the straight line and this straight line represent by this equation. So from this graph we can easily calculate the slope of the graph. Okay. And this slope equal to here m is equal to minus 1 by RT. So from this slope, we can easily calculate the value of the Thevenin's resistance of the circuit. Now, if if we take in, sorry, uh, if we take the uh, value of RL is inf infinity. For infinity of RL, there are no current passing through the path. So, I L equal to 0 and maximum voltage appear across AB and this is 5.4 and obviously this will be the 
for r l equal to when r l equal to infinity then maximum voltage appear across the voltmeter and this will be the thevenin's voltage so we can directly determine the value of the thevenin's voltage when r i l is equal to 0 if we extend the graph okay then the intersecting point gives the value of vt and slope of the straight line gives the value of thevenin's resistance okay thank you